So I've um, just been around for course practice today and the kind of reality of how hard the course is kind of sets in today, this morning. Um, yeah, it's really hard. I um, obviously struggle on sand, but it's it will kind of get... Yeah, I know it's the mindset you bring to the race, which is the important thing. Uh, but it's kind of hard to like get yourself into that mindset when you feel so far behind everyone and so kind of on a different level like on such a lower level like you shouldn't like I'm basically beating myself up about it um, and I can't I shouldn't because I can't expect myself to be as good as the other riders when they've been doing it like all their life um, but it's hard like you want to race at the top level and um, yeah, you want to race at the top level, and uh, you it's like on this type of course, it's just so hard for me to push because as soon as I push, I make mistakes, and when I make mistakes, I just get worse and worse and worse. So, and I kind of I don't have the like experience and the skills to kind of back up the kind of the speed that I need to be riding at. But it's kind of it's a long road, like. It's not just gonna happen like instantly. I'm not just gonna like one day turn around and just be able to ride a course like that um, with like no issues. Um, but yeah, it's frustrating and it's yeah and like the one thing you can't do when you're riding sand is get frustrated. Like especially at a race like an elite race like this, as soon as you get frustrated, you make mistakes and like that's like the worst thing you can do. So yeah, it's hard. Definitely is about mindset and what mindset you bring to it because either way you're gonna like the circumstances are always going to be the same so it's just how you what mindset you can bring to the race so that's going to be the plan today and um, just do as best I can um, and just be relaxed and just go through the processes because yeah I think I just got a bit overwhelmed in practice and was riding crap basically and, uh, and I know I can ride at a good level I just need to extract that out of myself and and uh and do it so yeah we're gonna crack on and, and we'll see how we do i gave martin a bit of a stressful task yesterday when i took my jacket off with two minutes to go Oh, 
Number nine, go, go, go. Good calm, good life. Good life, guys. Come on, keep it going, keep it going. Good line, keep it going. Good line, keep it going. Good line, keep it Keep it going, keep it going. Good mind, go on. Go, 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 go. go. I can't keep pushing, good mind, go on, go on. Go live, keep it going. Well done. Jump it. Oh, good job, good job. So that was that. Uh, it hurt a lot. Um, I went incredibly deep and I'm happy with how I did. I finished 31st which for me on a sandy course in the elites is really good. Thank you everyone for the support out on course. Uh, it really means a lot when you're absolutely in the pain cave. And um, so having people out there shouting for you just helps so, so much. So thank you very much for all the support and all the support here on YouTube. Uh, reading your comments and seeing how much you enjoy the videos is really supporting. Um, so yeah, thank you very much. So, that brings us to here. Uh, I'm back home now, I have been for the last week. I've been very busy editing, uh, riding my mountain bike actually, which has been a good uh, change. Um, so yeah, back at home now for a few weeks, uh, just to reset and uh, get ready for the second part of the season. Uh, I'm basically doing what everyone else is doing, but without the very sunny Majorcan hills uh, and the being in Calpe and stuff. So yeah, I'm doing it in Scotland, in the cold weather, but on my home roads uh, and it's going really good so far. My next race in Belgium is going to be Azencross which is the 28th of December 
and that starts my kind of New Year um, race uh, race period. So I'll be racing that and three other races, uh, which I can't remember the names of right now. I think it's uh, Berdene, um, Bal, and one other. Um, so yeah, busy racing uh, over December and January, uh, but for now just getting in solid training. Uh, and hopefully getting through a load of videos for you guys. In the next few days we've got um, Q&A with Isla Short about veganism and vegetarianism in cycling which is going to be super interesting and you should definitely look out for that. That'll be out tomorrow night, that's a two-part series so uh, yeah lots of content for you there and then I'm hopefully going to get onto some more skills videos so I've had loads of messages about the skills videos and uh, I've written a few of the scripts are done, a few of the video, the, uh, the footage has been taken. I just need to put it all together. Um, so yeah, lots of exciting stuff happening. As I said, thank you very much for watching and remember to like and subscribe. Um, so yeah, cheers, thank you.